Good day, Australia and America. This is for both of you. The um, actually it's going to go globally, but uh, I want to talk a little bit about the the 11D ships and what's happening here. And you know, basically, it's it's game on. You know, when these energies came in, they're intense. They're massive, uh, in, massive influx of energy. And whenever you add a lot of energy to a system or to a grid, uh, and it's of a higher frequency, all the lower frequency stuff is going to come up to the surface. So. You're going to see things move very quickly on every every level. You're going to see huge economic changes, uh, physical earth changes. You're going to see you know all kinds of social changes and uh, planetary changes. It just just on every level. You know it's it's not um, there's no rock left unturned so to speak. So there's just going to be a lot of shifts and a lot of changes. And the next year you won't believe who you are a year from now just as now if you were to go back a year you would say I, I can't believe I'm here now doing what I'm doing because we're going to take this quantum leap in consciousness and energy but uh, these ships are here now they're in our they're in our grid they're in, they're hovering around the earth they're not visible to the naked eye but their presence is being felt and uh, they're working in unison you know with the Pleiadians, the Orion Council of Light, the Andromedans, the Syrians, the Arcturians and all the other groups that are part of the awakening and healing process so it's as if this little corner in the universe that got kind of left behind in the Milky Way we're like at the outermost corner of the Milky Way and uh, we kind of got left behind and now it's it's like the um, the gods are back and uh, they're here to assist in this shift so uh, there's so much more to this story. The uh, whenever you have a reference point of a bearded god, it goes back to the Anunnaki, and the benevolent Anunnaki are back, and they're here to right a wrong and shift that that epoch, you know. So, so basically, a lot of the, all the religions were established by the the way a certain Anunnaki behaved, and so you know some of the. Anunnaki were very benevolent. They're very service oriented. They love creation. They wanted to see creation evolve to its highest potential. There were other Anunnaki that were here that were very self-serving, and uh, and some were wrathful tyrants. And so, you know, that's where we get all these images, and they're all polar opposites. <laughs> you know, to you know, is God all forgiving, all loving? Is God a jealous, wrathful, genocidal maniac? You know, it's you can't have the same the same being doing the same acts or you'd have a schizophrenic god you know so uh, it's actually recorded history is recorded to the best ability of those recording the history according to their references and their understanding but there's a greater understanding and uh, we're going to bring all that out uh, as to what the true nature of source is you know it doesn't have a beard you know it's not a man it's not a woman it's pure energy it's pure consciousness but there are step downs from that consciousness and energy and there are beings that are fully realized God beings and there's some very evolved ultra dimensionals that we would refer to as gods just because of their abilities and capabilities you know so anyway the real story is coming out I've written about it in Anunnaki Return I know Peter's written about it in his books um, it's it's all starting to surface right now and these videos are a part of that so be sure and check out the uh, the documentary on uh, what's the name of the documentary? Uh, East City Down Under. Yeah, East City Down Under on Pete's site and uh, on East City Australia. Check out that documentary. It tells the real story of the ancient origins of man. But anyway, I'll leave you with that. There's some incredible footage being filmed here at the ranch. Uh, Peter and Saul are with us here at the ranch, and uh, we've got Barry over here, who's having all kinds of contacts and. Uh, it's just amazing. We're we're having the most incredible experiences and and higher dimensional ships doing everything under the sun. So, you know, they're morphing, they're de, you know, materializing, dematerializing, shape shifting, uh, morphing into five, back to one again, just doing all kinds of crazy things. And we've got some really low level ships flying right over the house, you know, about half treetop level. So anyway, it's happening. Uh, the the contacts are increasing. And one thing I wanted to say on this note not to leave on a bad note but this is just a reality is that we need to be really discerning in this field of ufology and uh, really look at who the, you know who's in there for self-serving purposes 
you know, how they run their operations. Are they in it for the fame and the money? And who are they connected to? And who's financing them? We need to look deeply into these matters because unfortunately the people that are representing uh, you to be the contactees and things like that are not who you think they are. So there's a lot of planned opposition. There's a lot of people that are in bed with the Rockefellers and the Clintons and all these other people. They do their dances at Bohemian Grove just like just like everybody else. And uh, you know you got to really look into into you know their behavior off the podium and do some research and especially before you send any money to these people because if you saw where the money went you know and, and talk to their staff and see and uh, ask their staff where the money went you know it's, it's very important do the research do your own research and if they're not empowering you to make your own personal connection with source or spirit or or have your own ET contact then walk away because it's not all about them this is about you and your personal journey. So I'm going to leave it on that note. Have a great day. Stay in the heart and watch the skies. It's been, let us say, very spiritual. And I've been a contactee and experiencer my whole life. But yet what I've seen and I come out here is completely different. I've seen uh, ships coming out of the mountain, going into the mountain, putting on, as the Native Americans would say back, uh, dancing in the sky, many dances, all right? And I wanted to kind of say something else. I suffered about five years ago four traumatic, catastrophic brain injuries, which I've talked about a little. But you know, part of this whole thing, you could come out and see the ships, which is fine, and you'll, you will see that, you'll experience that. But after about three days, three days, any trauma that you have, this land starts kind of bringing up. So you're gonna have to deal with that uh, in a positive way, but it's allowing you to heal. I myself have done a lot of healing out here. So I think maybe the main aspect of this ranch needs to be emphasized is the healing of it, the healing aspect. And the ships come along with that. We, um, we thirst for the Creator first, we quest for the Creator, and then the ships and the healing comes with that. So they're not the separate things we think they are. Um, as far as the ships themselves I've seen out here, <laughs> You know, I've got all my categories, and I thought I knew a lot about that, and I'm seeing things out here that's just blowing me away. We thought it was Jupiter at first. It's doing multiple flashes. Then we began to see it um, morph into five. Five different spears, glowing spears. Then it went elongated, uh, it went vertical, went back, it just kept morphing a lot and it's all you know magical and stuff it's a great time but nothing quite to the extent of what we saw a few nights ago just with the form and how low it was and the way it morphed and pulsed in the in the power-ups around it That was bright. And then it's just sitting there. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Straight to the east. Oh, two. Two of them. Two of them. Look at that. Wow, that. Oh, look, power up. The back one's powering up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoa, power up. Whoa, check it out. That was great. It's still going. That one Thank just, you. That Thank you. Thank you. Like, Thank you, you guys. That other one just left it in the dust. Where'd the other one go? Is it still there? Yeah, it's behind, behind the tree, tree right now. I'll put it on the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. There it is. Is there? Yeah. It's fine. 
Same oh yeah, there's two together. Oh, yeah. yep. This one's powering up. Oh, yeah, it's powering up. Look. To the side as well. Check it out. It's powering up. There's three. There's three of them, huh? Yeah. There's one off to the side behind the second one. This one's getting big. Whoa! Did you see that? No, what happened? Anyway, this thing came right down on top of it and it just came all the way down to the ground. It's getting brighter. Oh, look, it's got a, it's powering up. Oh look, oh, look flashback. Yeah. I said flashback and it did. You see that? Yeah. Flashback again. Now that's not a satellite. Oh no, no, look at that. Look how bright it's starting to get. Yeah. yeah. Now you curve back. <laughs> wow, you can see a satellite make a course correction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we've seen two of them come right in. This is a classic. Look at that. Oh, yeah, it's powered up. Look at that. Whoa. Power up, you guys. That lights, I can see now. Yeah. Is it bigger through the camera? It's massive. I'm filming right it right Come now. Here. Yeah, right here. It's third generation. Whoa, the whole mountain is lighting up. Look yeah, at that. It's lighting up. Look at that. Whoa. Do you see that? Yeah. The whole mountain just lit up. It's still lighting up. You see that? Yeah.